Our mission is to remake global skills training by leveraging two very important trends. First, you can learn basically anything for free online these days. And second, the cost to deliver it is plummeting fast. And we put these two together in our first project a few years ago in Haiti. This is Paula. She's holding a low cost tablet that has a full curriculum of organized free learning content loaded onto it, such that it works totally offline and is chargeable cheaply with solar power. Now, one analysis found that we were delivering content 100 times as efficiently simply by moving from shipping lots of paper books to offline digital delivery, or what I like to call a leapfrog from books to bytes. A key part of our model is that we always work with local partner organizations because we can specialize in building low-cost, flexible technology that they can't do, and they, in turn, can focus on localization of content and programming and implementation on the ground, something that they're much better at that we can't do. And this model has allowed us to scale in just a few years to over 20 countries. So Junior Achievement, for example, is using it in Kenya for financial literacy training, which Div identified as a key skill set that employers there want. In Jordan, UNICEF is using it in the Makani centers and growing it to do uh, refugee youth skills programs. In each of these programs, even though it's offline, when they connect every so often, we get back all the offline data. So we understand student progress. We understand gender equality of access, things you can't know with paper. And even though we're a nonprofit, we have a sales model to sell all of this to all of our partners at cost, which we've been doing. And this business model now is backed by some of the best in tech. Y Combinator, Google.org, we won the Google Impact Challenge earlier this year. The Boston Consulting Group designed our impact studies. And recently, Harvard Business School produced an in-depth case study on the Rumi model for sustainability that they're using to teach now in classrooms. And when you look at all the people being impacted, you might almost wonder how we're doing it across so many places. And part of the way we're able to do that across different cultures and areas is that we started to figure out what our partners wanted, and we started to connect that with companies whose highly skilled workforces could work on curating from the vast sea of learning content online into structured, a highly vetted and quality curriculum in different areas. And what this is allowing us to do is that now we understand what works offline when they sync. We start to then connect that back to the volunteer community so that they can, we can apply volunteer energy to the most impactful areas. Now, the reason we are here today is because in every one of our markets, this transition is happening to low-cost smartphones. And we want to use the funding to basically take our software and move it into app form so it can work on any low-cost device. And our first partner for this is Roshan Telecom, the largest tel telco in Afghanistan, which will load it into programs for ch children there that can scale to millions. Thank you. Thank you.